I feel good about this event. It's so important. And I mean, uh, the weather couldn't be better. And uh, it's like the sun is shining in approval on this protest. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a dark subject, but, you know, it's good to, to be uh, you know, coming together in this weather and just uh, raising your fists, basically, towards Parliament in a symbolic manner and saying, you know, you have to act. This cannot go on any longer. The will of the people is, is very clear. It, enough is enough. Three and a half years in Belmar's prison for Julian Assange. It just has to end. Well, I do recall your speech. I remember you talking about this is a dark force that we are trying to oppose. It definitely is. And I think more and more people are actually sort of feeling it in their own skin. I mean, it's coming. It's, 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 it's like a virus infiltrating our civil society of everyday life. Uh, and it's not the kind of uh, a dark force that comes in the, the leather boots, fascism style of, of the 30s. It is a new kind, and even a more malicious one, because it, it infiltrates everything. It roads what is sacred to us, you know, empathy and uh, humanity. And, and we can sense that this is sort of destroying our world. Uh, and, and the people are locking guidance into action in countering this and doing something about it. And this has been a, it's a process that has been going on for quite a while, at least in, well, the entire 20 plus years of the century. And people are starting to realize that what, what Julian did and Wikileaks, you know, more than a decade ago was, was create an awareness. There was a, you know, like opening a glimpse and seeing actually what's going on. And because of that, the, 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 you have this strong reaction because the truth was so strong. And, uh, you can actually measure the uh, achievement of Julian and Wikileaks in part by the vicious reaction. How, why is it so important to basically try to kill an individual that simply is doing a journalistic work? But it was so important. It exposed so much. So that is, that is what we need to keep in mind. And, uh, and try to rekindle that spirit and make it grow. Uh, and I, I know we get there because we do not have any other uh, uh, option, actually. We are, basically, if we, if we stop swimming, we'll sink, every one of us. I mean, it's a persecution now of Julian, and he stands alone in that fight with, with the supporters behind him, yes. But today it's about Julian. Uh, tomorrow it's about you and me and all of us. That's right. I don't know if you saw the very first event in this chain of human chains that was in Melbourne, Australia. Three to five thousand people turned up mm. and they were chanting, Julian told the truth, WikiLeaks has the proof. Now, it seems to me that there is the problem of, for Americans of kind of losing their First Amendment. Yep. But really, it's, it's, it's more than that. It's about losing a grasp on reality, isn't it? It is, and we see we see reality being undermined in a in a spectacular manner every day. And uh, you know, for me, a journalist for uh, what 30 plus years now, it's just uh, absolutely appalling to see my colleagues, what I consider colleagues, actually taking part in that, yeah. uh, and uh, and you know, uh, throwing about the speculation or, 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 or false information that that obviously do not match reality and everyday people they don't need a, a, you know a, a degree in political science or economic uh, economics or or history to 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 see through it uh, it's, it's becoming so blatant but it seeps in that's why i'm talking about this sort of slow and gradual undermining of our civil society it's all part of the same struggle it's 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 not an individual case that you can just take out you have to think about it in in context with uh, what's going on in the world um, I was asked uh, just today. earlier here about uh, world today the world today I mean I was asked a bit earlier about what, what's your uh, uh, what's your uh, hopes for list trust government I said what <laughs> you know we're talking about uh, a new prime minister that uh, sets a record in actually you know uh, 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 basically destroying the pound and uh, coming up with economic policies that uh, even uh, economist, uh, economists in her own party are sort of discrediting and said, what, where on earth did this come from? What, what rabbit hole is this? this? This doesn't work. And now we say backtracking. Um, and let me remind you, I'm probably going to say this again here today because it sticks with me. 
When, when uh, Boris Johnson actually uh, had his last speech here in, 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 in the Parliament, uh, his farewell speech, and uh, was giving advice out to his successors, uh, he only touched upon foreign policy in one, on one point. He said, well, in, on, on foreign policy, and I'm paraphrasing actually, but the essence of it was just do what the Americans tell you. That, that, that's the essence, and, and you were stunned, and I, I was amazed that many people, more people didn't pick up on it, because it was so amazing. This is the, the grand nation who is, 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 is reveling on Churchill here on a grand statue about the, uh, the, uh, the fight against fascism and uh, Nazism uh, in, the, in, the war, in the World War. And uh, uh, where is the pride of the nation that uh, has a leader that says just, well, just be a lapdog, you know, put the leash on and, and, and extend it. And that's exactly what's been happening. I've been following this case, I've been in every court proceedings here, and it's absolutely appalling to see how, how laws are stretched, the illegality of the entire process, the silence of the politicians, or the negative comments that are being made. It, it is appalling. Um, Maybe, just maybe, a there's a, there's, maybe there's a breaking point. Maybe there's maybe into the winter, where people actually are uh, faced with the reality of having to choose whether to heat their homes in the cold or feed their children. I mean, that, that that's the reality that's, that's ahead. You know. But what a shame that we have to be driven that far. I've always uh, what drew me into WikiLeaks over well over a decade ago was that I perceived Julian to be sort of anti-war. You know, because of the destruction, and he said something well, that I mean, really who's, who's stuck with me. War? Populations don't like wars. Populations have to be fooled into wars. Yeah. How does that apply today, do you think? And how would he feel about what's going on now with the media? I'm not going to put sort of words in the mouth. You know, when I visited in prison, I, I saw him on Thursday morning. I, to be frank, I mean, I, I, I try to spend the, uh, the, the limited time I have with him in trying to cheer him up and trying to. Uh, ease his pain in that situation. Um, but of course we talk uh, politics, but I'm not going to sort of uh, 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 trying to sort of reflect on, on what, what he thinks about current situation. But do you think it's said who's pro-war? It is. Sorry? You did say who's pro-war? I mean, yeah, who is pro-violence, who is pro-death, who is pro-killing children? I mean, that's appalling. I, don't, I never understood this sort of uh, negative connotation people dare to put on uh, the words anti-war. Who is pro-war? It's like being a pro-killer, you know, <laughs> like, it's absurd. Of course, nobody wants war. Uh, people have to be tricked into war. Yeah, that's true. And uh, that has happened frequently in our time. And when I'm talking about our time, even my adulthood, uh, uh, and, and of course it's going to happen again and again. Yes.